Notice how my Mach number is increasing, but the knots there, they're falling. So am I getting slower or faster? But it's actually, it's actually the result of air pressure and temperature in this mode that we're at now. If I look down to my right here, you'll see we've got three switches. We've got calibrated airspeed, CAS, true airspeed. So if I click it into true airspeed, you can see the numbers there is a lot higher. Look, 667, 668, it's climbing with the Mach numbers. It's a very similar readout actually to ground speed as well. Um, but uh, just put that back. Calibrated airspeed is, as the name suggests, it's always calibrating the airspeed of the pressure that it's reading because it's a measure of air density and pressure but it's it's set to read air density at sea level so as I go higher the air density gets lighter so it's calibrating all the time and therefore displaying a lower number so as I go higher that's decreasing because it's calibrating for the loss in pressure but the Mach number is increasing because the speed of sound decreases due to air temperature so the cooler the air, the longer it takes for sound to travel, and it's it's really cold the higher up you go. But if you really want to get a, a reading of, of how fast you're going, go ground speed, and that's what you'll you would use to measure um, how long it's going to take you to get from A to B. Calibrated airspeed is good to use because it gives you an indication of, of how much performance you've got at any given sort of height, and that's why really uh, you use it.